Boom. Dial up 285 points. My name is D7 here at Grok Trade. It's hump day. Wednesday, June 29th, 2016. One more day to close out the quarter. June will be over. And we'll be going into a long weekend for July 4th. And the markets are on fire. All major indices up over 1%. Small caps up more than 2%. Banks up more than 2%. Financials up more than 2%. Really blazing a trail to the north. Um, anytime you have financials being that strong, U.S. dollar down. Crude oil up 2.8%. Gold higher, but silver up 2.7%. VIX decreasing by 5% on the ETF. The index dropping by nearly 10%. Here we are looking at the ETF of the S&P 500 called the Spider SPY. And we had this big boom the last two days, a sizable run, over a 5% jump in two days. The S&P 500, 500, the bluest chip stocks that are out there. Very, very nice. You'll notice I have a series of lines, these horizontal lines coming with these different colors. The reason I have this on is because this is a... Fibonacci retracement, and that is drawn from the zero line. You'll see this here in the 100% line, but you always draw it from the start of price action, the very high, and you draw it the direction the price action went, and I drop it right here at the low. So the bounce rallied back, had a gap up, almost a 23% pop, 24% pop almost, right here from that low, and 50% was where today's open was. So we opened at the 50% retracement. Now, this is important to me. As a technician, we get this drop. 50% is kind of a good area to be looking for a reversal and to be looking to go short. Definitely want to stay below the 61.8. We did not do that. We went above 61.8. We're higher than that. So that is X percent more bullish than what it should have been with some decent volume the last two sessions. And even though it's dropping, don't read into that too much. It's because it's, it's relative to this massive spike in volume that we received uh, just on Monday. So uh, you need to take that in consideration with this information. So don't read into the volume too much right now. It's a little... Uh, obscure due to a uh, big spike of volume but we do have this big rally taking place now I think that we're gonna pause fairly soon here and I think we're gonna get high up but if we blast up higher again we got a major area of resistance I may go short there but it's not gonna be nearly as short as what I would have been if we would have stopped with a smaller candlestick here and then we dropped again if that if we had stayed at the 50% mark on the Fibonacci and we showed a drop I would have loaded up short there however now I need to wait for a decent opportunity to go short but I will be tapered in how much I will be short this market when I pull the trigger on that what I do not expect to happen is for this to rally and plow through this resistance line. Now, if it does, I'm going to be looking for opportunities for a high base or a flag or a pennant or something to be looking to go long because it the market should not do this. If it does that, this would be a V bottom, which can be very, very powerful. And that's something that I'm not expecting. What I think think what will happen here based off of technician or technicals will drop now we're up a bit and we're going to coil right here before it finally makes its descent to the downside i do not think that we will hit this high that we saw may 21st 2015 anytime soon and i think we'll coil and then start to drop the markets have we've just been so so bullish the last few years that number of years that we are due for a sizable pullback in the markets and we've been seeing some nice drops 
That's usually the thunder in the distance before we get a sizable, sustained, ongoing drop in the markets. Uh, I do want to take a look here at the NASDAQ. We have this big pop, 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 pop. Oh, actually, before spiders, I'm going to go back to spiders. And here's why. Because I want to show you the monthly chart, which was very important to us. Remember how I said we we're down here at support? Look for that to bounce off of that. That's why I could not go short. Because I see that is a major area of support. Sure enough, that's what it was. Rallied all the way back up. Now we're starting to build this like base up here against this area of resistance. Now, for the month, I don't see us I'm getting too much more bullish. I don't see us getting above this area, such as 210, 210. So remember 210. Um, here's the daily again. Remember 210, 210, 210. Puts us right there. Zero chance I think we're going to blast up another 5 to 7% here to get above that in two trading days. Not going to happen. I think we're going to peter out there, and then we're going to drop. All right, so the NASDAQ, let's go here. Big drop, 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 pop, pop, pop. We have a big area of resistance coming up very, very soon. We're, so that's why I think we're going to pop up a little bit more. We're going to stall, and then we're going to drop. Uh, small caps, same thing, up, 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 up. We have a resistance area coming across right here. I don't have that drawn in, but I expect the same thing. I'm going to go here to financials. We're rallying higher. I mean, they really confirm what we're seeing. U.S. dollar is now pulling back. You can see this. We were, we had this big run. We're pulling back a bit, but this is a huge, huge thing. to. I think we'll pull back a little bit, and the U.S. dollar is going to continue to march higher. I do not see it weakening. By the way, mark my words on this. All indications point to there not being an interest rate by the Fed um, anytime soon. Bloomberg actually has the percentages only at 40% chance of an increase by 28 now uh, wrap your head around that. Pause video, rewind it, listen to what I just said. It's interesting. Um, actually, the last few days we've seen actually a spike in the believe it or not, a spike in the um, chances of there actually being a, ri a a rate decrease. Now, but still the odds are against both an increase and a decrease, but um, we've seen a, a, just a, a an increase last few days of actually more of a chance of them raising the rates, uh, or I'm sorry, decreasing the rates and raising them, which is very interesting. So that's where we're at in um, interest rates. But the U.S. dollar, if it comes back a little bit, I see this is starting to go higher, which will put pressure on U.S. stocks. Crude oil. Now, what's interesting here, we had a nice pop the last two days uh, with the markets just boom right here. But we got over a major area of resistance on crude oil. Now, watch this. Big area, but it came right back down below our trend line. Very important that you know how to draw these very, very well. Um, those people that know how to draw trend lines properly will, if the, and they know how to read them, uh, and are trained how to trade them. And there's a few things you got to get right there. Uh, will do very well in in the markets. But we're at major resistance here. We have a very good chance of this drop. And look at all the moving averages. See how they're coiling together. We're expecting a huge move, gang. Big, big move uh, here on oil. So be looking for that to happen. And I want to, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm splitting the apex of this triangle right here. And so let's just watch that to see what happens. But I think we're going to get a big pop to the upside. But if we drop to the downside and get below this uh, blue line, just whoa, whoa, whoa uh, to the oil markets. I don't see that being good for it at all. But you cannot go long or short at this moment because we do not know what direction this dude is going to pop. But when it does, be ready for it to rock and roll. Uh, gold popped up, building a high base. That's very, very bullish. Uh, did you guys hear Greenspan came out? I saw a report that came out saying that he's actually building a case uh, of going back to the gold standard. You have major, major economists that are building a case for why it's necessary for us to go to the gold standard again. And wow. Matter of fact, I have some raw, like out of the ground, raw precious metal, gold. And um, I'm already been, um, I got my sources lined up for buying more of this. And I think buying gold and silver, 
is probably a wise thing to do, especially uh, for uh, long-term investments and buy, in, buy it physical, buy it physical. That's something. Um, let me uh, jump on a soapbox here just momentarily and say this. Um, you know what the big elephant in the room is uh, as far as the economy is concerned that nobody's talking about? And that is our debt. It's our debt here in the U.S., I mean, last time I looked, it was, what was it, 19.3? It was probably 19.5 or 6. I should have looked before I did this video. But it's just climbing exponentially. Economists are saying it, we cannot sustain levels above 22. And we're going to be at 22 before you know it. I imagine it be this fall when we hit 22. And then what? So there's the there that's the monkey on our back. That's the elephant in the room. That's the big deal as far as I'm concerned. I'd like to know your opinions and thoughts on that down in the comments. So leave them. If you like it, like it.